The University of North Carolina today reeling from a blow, a really big blow to its reputation, especially the integrity of its legendary sports program. An eight-month investigation found thousands of yep. UNC athletes remained eligible to play by taking fake classes that fraudulently boosted their grades. According to the report, the alleged scam began 18 years ago and revolved around the school's African American Studies program. Our Sarah Gannon is live in Chapel Hill right now. This is pretty incredible material to work with. This must be uh, reeling. I mean, what's this? How's it landing on campus? How are people reacting to this? Well, Ashley, this now appears, what happened at UNC now appears to be the biggest academic fraud scandal in all of college sport history. And I have to tell you that for about four years, officials here at UNC denied that. They said, you know, we dealt with what happened we, uh, and we moved on. There was nothing here to see. That's what they told us when we first started asking questions. And they attacked the credibility of the main whistleblower here, Mary Willingham, but we listened to her when they wouldn't listen to her, and that forced UNC to reopen their investigation. And guess what, Ashley? Everything that she said, all of the facts, all of the names that she named, those names were named yesterday as people who knew what was going on here, what was happening here for 18 years. You know, two head football coaches admitting to, admitted to knowing about this scandal. At least five academic advisors in the athletic department said they used these classes to make sure that athletes who could not compete in the classroom were still able to compete on the field. This is validation for Mary Willingham for sure. I just talked to her a few minutes ago, and she actually gave a lot of credit to the new chancellor here on campus, Carol Folt. I want you to take a listen to what Carol said yesterday. It was an inexcusable betrayal of our values and our mission and our students' trust. The length of time that this behavior went on and the number of people involved is really shocking. It uh, was a wrongdoing that could have and should have been stopped much earlier by individuals who were in positions of influence and oversight. Many could have sounded the alarm more forcefully. So, you know, there's been a lot of frustration, a lot of anger here on campus at the way that the university responded to this. There's a feeling that because they dragged this out and wouldn't admit to it, wouldn't look into it for so long, that, uh, that this dragged out. And this is, you know, five years later, a whole entire class went through this university dealing with the scandal. There is a feeling, though, here today on campus that at least they know now that this is the answer. This is what happened, and they can start to move on. So, Sarah, do you, you reported this. I'm just going to put this out here. You started reporting this months ago. And as I recall, you took a lot of heat, didn't you? I want you to just characterize for our audience what you went through when you started the ball rolling on this story, because it smacks of a lot of Lance Armstrong. Well, you know, it was, uh, CNN took a little bit of heat, yes, but it was really about Mary Willingham. It was her credibility that had been attacked, and her credibility had been attacked for a lot longer than any of the media that was talking to her. She's been talking about this for five years now. You know, the scandal started out actually as a, an agent scandal. Some players who had improper contact with agents that was revealed in late 2010. The university under pressure from the local newspaper who also gets a lot of credit here. They were digging and digging and digging on this. Uh, the university said, okay, you're right, there were some irregularities in classes. They pinned this all on one uh, professor and his assistant, and they said these guys went rogue, basically. They acted all by themselves. They put mm. these athletes into these classes, and nobody right. else knew about it. And that turned out mm. to not be true. And Mary Willingham said over and over and over again, she said, I worked in athletics for seven years. I know that we talked about this openly. I know that a lot of people knew about this. It wasn't two rogue people. And they ignored her. And when we, you know, when we put her on national t television, and you know, Ashley, that's the power sometimes of the camera, we put her on TV and they had to listen to what she was saying. It's also the power of the Pulitzer, my friend. I'm not going to lie. You got a Pulitzer in the Penn State investigation, and you did a great job on this one, too. Thank you so much, Sarah Gannon, reporting for us live.